Let's work on this percent problem. 2.4 is what percent of 75? We're going to translate this problem into a missing number statement. And then we're going to use the missing number statement to help us decide how to solve the problem. Let's go ahead and translate now. 2.4, I'm just going to recopy, is translates here as equals. What percent, those words, represent the number we're trying to find. I'll write a box. And because we want a percent answer, I'll put a percent sign inside the box. Percent of 75 translates as percent times 75. So we see here that we have 2.4 equals what percent, or box percent, times 75. We have a multiplication statement where we're missing one of the multipliers. Because we're missing a multiplier, we're going to have to divide to get the answer. Also, notice that we want a percent answer, but we're not going to worry about the percent right now. Whenever we want a percent answer, we convert to percent form at the very end of the problem. We'll do that later. Now let's set up the division here. When I divide, I need to be careful to get the right number first. Here, the equal sign, I notice, separates this problem into two parts. There's the 2.4 on one side of the equal sign. On the other side of the equal sign, is box percent times 75. The number all by itself on one side of the equal sign, the 2.4, is the answer to the multiplication problem. That number needs to go first in the division. 2.4 divided by the multiplier I have. That's 75. 2.4 divided by 75 will give us what we're looking for here. Now because I'm dividing with a decimal, I'll go ahead and do decimal long division. 2.4 divided by 75. Now 75 doesn't go into 2, and then I get to my decimal point, so I need to write the decimal up above. 75 doesn't go into 24 either. And because I'm to the right of the decimal point, I need to write a zero to the right of the decimal point in the answer. Now I can add a zero to the right of the four. 75 does go into 240. Let's make a guess here. What about 75 times four? Four times five is 20. 4 times 7, 28, plus 2 is 30. 75 times 4 is a little bit too large, 300. We're just trying to get close to 240 here. Let's try 75 times 3. 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times 7, 21, plus 1 is 22. We get 225. 225 is very close to 240. That's what we want here. 3 times 75 is 225. And I'll go ahead and subtract. I'll borrow. 4 becomes 3. Then 10 minus 5 is 5. 3 minus 2 is 1. I have 15. I can add another 0 and bring it down and ask myself, how many times does 75 go into 150? Should we try 2? 75 times 2. 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 7 is 14 plus 1 is 15. That's 150, just what we want. 2 times 75 is 150. And when I subtract, I get 0 remainder, so I'm done with the long division. 
the result of the division here is 0 0.032. Now, we're not quite done yet because we need to convert our answer to a percent form. And to convert to percent form, what we do is we multiply by 100 and add a percent sign on the end. So I'm going to take the result of our division, 0 0.032, I'll do that here in the right, and I'll take 0 0.032 times 100 percent sign to convert it to percent form. Now there's a shortcut way we can multiply by 100 if I have a decimal. And here we do. I can take this decimal point and move it two places to the right. So it ends up between the 3 and the 2. Because I've just multiplied by 100 here, I now tack on the percent sign. What I have is 3.2%. The zero in front is now unnecessary. If you don't remember how many spaces to move the decimal point or you're not sure which way to go, you can also multiply by 100 the long way where you take 100 times 0 0.032 and go through the long multiplication process. 2 times 0 is 0, 2 times 0 is 0, 2 times 1 is 2, 3 times 0, 3 times 0, 3 times 1 is 3, 0 times 0 is 0, 0, I get a row of zeros there. And when I add things up, 0, 0, 2, 3, 0. Now I need to uh, decide where my decimal point's going to go in this result. I have a total of three places uh, in the numbers I'm multiplying, so I'm going to move 1, 2, three places from the right-hand corner. And notice that these two zeros on the right, the zero in front of the three, are not necessary. This result is 3.2. Now, because I was multiplying by 100%, my result here is 3.2%. Same thing we got when we used the shortcut. So our answer here written in percent form is 3.2 percent. And we're done.